Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys from California. Before I begin, give all praise to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who is wisdom? Who is the Holy Spirit? Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. I pray the Most High blesses this lesson this evening. Gives more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past. In order to understand events that are currently happening on the earth. So we need a much better understanding of the things that are soon to come on the earth. Brethren, when you're listening to these news stories, you need to learn how to navigate through the BS and be able to pull out the meat. These people are acknowledging the fact that there is another round two of the plague about to start. See, what the world does not understand is that you are just barely ending the first year of a thousand year sentence. You're barely finishing up year one. You didn't finish up year one on December 31st. You're going to be finished up the new year, your, your, your first year, and the Hebrew new year in March. And it's no coincidence that you're getting stories kind of throwing out these little feelers right now. Let any people know so it just doesn't blindside them that there's going to be a new plague variant could become dominant strain in March, CDC warns. You think it's just a coincidence that this new strain is going to you know, possibly be the, the new dominant variant in March? You think the most highly is anything to chance? Absolutely not. So if there's a, and they're already anticipating it because they know that it's part two, it's round two of a thousand round fight. They throw these out there, but they understand that they are now have fallen into the curses. And that round two is about to begin in March. So what do they do? They throw this out here right now. And then at first when they throw it out there, it's like, yes, but. We know it's going to be a new strain coming and it's going to be uh, giving a lot more, you know, it's going to be easier for people to pick up, but that's okay. Because as long as you do the same things that you haven't, been, I mean, sorry, that you should have been doing like mass social distancing, you should be fine. But see what's happening is everything that seems to be happening over in the UK seems to be happening over here. They had this variant that popped up over there first. They started talking about uh, double masking or wearing a certain type of mask. And all of a sudden here, they started talking about this new variant. All of a sudden over here, they're talking about wearing two masks. I think some doctor today talked about wearing four masks. So it's kind of kind of funny how just following that same pattern, correct? And then, uh, you know, at first it was, well, for sure, the vaccines are going to work. But then we have to test it. Then today it was like, <clears throat> well, it might work, but it might not be as effective. See, they're slowly, they, they put the bar up super high and then they continuously lower the bar. Like, yes, for sure it's going to work. Well, we're not so sure yet. Well, it might not work as well. Nothing's going to work because this is ordained by the most high. This is, like I said, just round two of a thousand round fight. You've been tagged in, you know, in the ring to fight these curses. We had to fight it for hundreds of years. Now it's your turn. So they're already talking about a mutant, you know, a mutant plague. And they're talking about, well, it's like, I don't know how you have an all purpose vaccine that just works against every single variant of a plague. It doesn't make any sense, does it? No one else has had that, so it doesn't make any sense why these Gentiles who have been, you know, mistreating the multi chosen people all of a sudden, you know, they can't come up with a regular vaccine for the flu, but they came up for one for this one, and it, and it covers all variants, too. Said so not, make not making much sense, but they're being exposed. That's exactly what's going on right now. The multi is just exposing their lies. Now, something else you have to watch. And this is why, you know, the Most High just keeps on bringing more destruction. 
the Most High's chosen people were under the curses, not everyone else. The Most High's chosen people made the covenant with the Most High, not everyone else. So now at the end, you other nations should be acknowledging the fact that you have been destroying the Most High's chosen people. But see, what they do is, which is, you know, they're real slick with it. They'll talk about, oh, well, the black Americans, you know, I think Biden's yesterday signed some kind of a law. And he was talking about black Americans. Then all of a sudden he just throws in Asian Americans. I'm like, what the hell? So now you're throwing in like, oh, you know, we got to take care of the black Americans. Well, the Asian Americans also had it really rough. And then gay Americans had it really, really rough. So they just start throwing everybody into the pot. This, you know, because they still don't want to deal with what they did to the most highest chosen people. So just watch how really slick they are with it, with trying to add in other groups. They're always trying to add some other group into these curses. The Most High is dealing with what you did with the Most High's chosen people. He's not dealing with, you know, what you did to the other nations. He's like, you take care of what you did to the Most High's people, his people first. Stop trying to throw everybody else into it. It's always a me too. Well, everybody suffered. Everybody's had it rough. Well, that's not why you're getting punished. You're getting punished for what you did to the Most High's chosen people. That's what you're getting punished for. You're getting punished for making your racist, white supremacist religions that are used to keep our people at the bottom. That's why you're getting punished. It says, those who bless Israel shall be blessed. Those that curse Israel shall be cursed. So you don't get to pick and choose. You know, and just throw everybody into the lump like, okay, well, we're going to help these black people. But we're also going to help the Asians because they've had it rough too. So they're not, not going to work like that. That's why you're getting set up for round two. That's why you're getting set up for round two of the thousand round fight. Because you keep on doing uh, slick stuff just like that. So you just watch the news and you hear what they say. You know, I said, it just, the Most High makes them say the things that they say. It's up to us to, you know, get the meat and spit out the bones. What are the, what are the odds that there's some new, more contagious variant of the plague that's supposed to start in March? Now, all of a sudden, <clears throat> they found another variant, which was the South African variant, which popped up today. And I think South Carolina. And that one's the one that said that they're worried about not being as effective against the vaccine or the vaccines not being effective against that strain. Well, if it's if it's going to go through so many more people, then it has more ch of a chance to mutate again and again. But see, what they're trying to do is they're trying to just kind of tamp down fears. Oh, it, it, we got everything under control. Us Gentiles, we got it all under control. Don't worry, this, this vaccine will work against everything. Oh, but we're sure that, you know, pretty much this new variant is going to be here in March. Now, just think back to last March and how they shut everything down right around our new year. Hasn't opened, nothing has opened up like, you know, like they wanted it to. And they're trying so hard, you hear Biden, we need to open up schools so we can get back to normal. We're going to get these, uh, vaccines out to you guys so that we can get back to our lives this you know plague it just, it's not the spanish flu anymore that's, yeah, that's what they're thinking it's gonna be like the spanish flu and they're gonna be able to get through it and get back to their lives as normal not gonna happen but that's what they're that's what they're banking on whatever happened to following the most high's will you don't hear any of them talk about, well, maybe the Most High is punishing us. Maybe, you know, you need to learn how to be, other nations need to learn how to accept the Most High's will, good and bad. You're only used to being, you know, in a, you know, it's only okay to follow the Most High or Jesus or God, as you guys call them, when things are good. 
all of a sudden when things aren't going as well as you would like, you just throw God out the window. And now you're worried. And now there, like you hear people all the time saying the vaccine is our, is our, you know, way back to normalcy. Whatever happened to the most high and his will. If you want to get to some kind of normalcy, the ones that the Most High has, you know, given that knowledge and understanding to, has opened up the knowledge and understanding. It's all about following the will of the Most High, good or bad. It's all about following, you know, the Most High's chosen people. It's all about blessing. If you want a blessing, it tells you, bless the Most High's chosen people. If you want to be cursed, keep on doing what you're doing to the Most High's chosen people. Keep on following those curses. That's why I think a lot of people have, especially a lot of these other nations, have such a difficult time believing what's going on because they're expecting things to go back to normal and it's never going to be. Not the normal you guys had before. So get ready for that round two in March. And I, I think every round is going to get considerably worse for you. All praise is to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who is wisdom? Who is the Holy Spirit? Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. Shalom.